It was good of them to name it Slow Start. That's a portion of my review done for me. Now, if they had named it Slow Start, Middle, End, and a bunch of cute behavioral patterns, I could spend a couple seconds pointing out the title and then spend the rest of the day playing Terraria, but the title refers to Hana's late entry into high school. See, in Japan, people try to get into a high school via exams, unlike us who simply graduate to them. Hana missed her chance to take a high school entrance exam and did... something for a year. Not sure what. Rather than go back to school and see that all her friends are ahead of her, she just transferred to a new school in hopes of keeping her late start a secret. And this is where the series fails to connect with me immediately. In her shoes, I would be content to shrug and say crap happens. I truly don't see what the big deal is, but most of the other characters do. She even found someone who sympathizes with her plight, but it's still a secret from the rest of her friends. I'm reminded a little bit of Konohana Kitan. Heavy reliance on cute girls, some Japanese references that don't quite carry over, though Slow Start is more guilty of this, and both their senses of humor made me smile and even chuckle from time to time. However, Slow Start has a little less imagination and the most head pads I've ever seen packed into one series. One thing that cracked me up is when Kim Marie gets stressed by any amount of social interaction and calls for Echo, but it sounds like Ego to me, and I start to picture her wanting waffles to relieve her from social anxiety. At the same time, though, I find her reliance on Echo odd. Kim Marie used Echo as a social crutch of sorts in spite of only knowing her for six days or so prior to the series beginning. You would think during her elementary and middle school years she would either develop social skills or stay away from people in general. I find it guilty of failure to develop multiple things it brings up, as well as multiple cliches such as cliché character types. The festival scene, complete with fireworks. The swimsuit scene, use of closet lesbians, and of course, no modern day slice of life would be complete without the cliché bath scene. As I think back on my experience with the series, I realize I don't remember much of it, which brings me to my ultimate complaint. This is the cute girls doing cute things subgenre of the slice of life genre, stripped down to nuts and bolts. Granted, this is a formula that I can always get high off of, so of course I liked it, but I liked New Game better, because it wasn't just about girls that are cute, it was about interesting characters and its story of game making. I liked Gakko Garashi better because... Well, I can't step into that without spoiling Gakko Garashi. My point is, cute... Pretty, sexy, and horrific are things that should not stand on their own. Rather, only when one or more of these things is plugged into a good story can something great be born. And that is the difference between slow start and something great. Professionally speaking, it can only be called fairly good at most. As for my personal feelings on it, I happened to watch it on a rainy day and the combination made me very relaxed. The art and animation is good, I'll probably listen to the opening another 5,000 times and I'll probably find a wall scroll of Tama-chan because Tama-chan was my favorite because she's cute.